afternoon welcome to a roasty toasty Chironte here in the southwest of France yeah it is an absolutely gorgeous day uh, currently 77 Fahrenheit which I think is uh, 25 if you speak metric uh, yeah just been doing a few bits and pieces uh, in the garden uh, let you uh, see what I've been up to and then have a little chat I've got a couple of issue issues
so I found the rest of my potatoes. I put them in the house, covered them up, hoping to keep them out of light so they didn't sprout. But they all sprouted. And uh, yeah, I got them in the ground. But um, yeah, I'm not sure the, the, this second batch that I've done. I've done the first batch uh, in the middle of March, 15th of March they went in. Uh, so anyway, got them in today. They're in the ground. And I got my uh, plants that I bought the other day <laughs> that I bought for my uh, uh, new flower bed, which obviously hasn't even been started yet and uh, I'm not going to be digging the ground over the next few days because one I'm busy two it's going to be Scorchio it's supposed to be uh, 28 degrees tomorrow which is uh, 82 Fahrenheit and uh, yeah I don't dig flower beds when it's 80 degrees uh, next week's going to be a bit cooler uh, so going to make a start uh, on that then and I've got some ideas uh, for plants I'd like a red robin in there and maybe some rosemary I'm not going to buy little plants just yet I want to get the want to get the big plants in there the big shrubs in there thank you for all your lovely comments regarding my pear tree I'm not so keen and I think it was pretty much split 50 50 amongst you guys um, yeah half of you liked it half of you didn't but at the moment it's just standing there you know on its own looking a bit ridiculous but I think once there's other uh, shrubs around it uh, and this fella grows up and the euonymus is trimmed uh, this area here it might make a little bit more sense anyway so the rest of those plants have gone in there the, what i bought the other day uh, a couple of issues in the garden so while i was busy working here yesterday over there just next to me was my nectarine tree and uh yeah poor fella's got a bit of an issue so i've done a bit of reading up and uh, it's got something called leaf curl disease which affects things like peaches and uh, nectarines, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much obliterated this year's uh, harvest. So uh, yeah, a bit of a disaster from my nectarine point of view. I'm just standing next to my uh, apple tree that I planted last year, uh, a golden delicious apple. And it is looking uh, absolutely, absolutely lovely in, uh, in blossom and uh, fingers crossed, might get some apples off it this year although it's not very old this tree so uh, I've just made up my first batch of uh, my compost tea uh, I'll show you what I got up to Yeah, so basically that's just a mixture of uh, nettles that I've got growing around the garden and uh, comfrey and uh, basically I've just butchered a whole comfrey plant uh, I did grow that on purpose I've got a few of them in a in one of my veggie rows uh, one of the first things I uh, sowed actually when I arrived in France was my comfrey because I knew how uh, important it was and yeah full of nitrogen really good for uh, leafy vegetables and uh, yeah I'll use that over the next, uh, well, I'll use that this year, but it takes about a month to uh, ferment, if you like. So yeah, had a little bit of an issue. Um, do you remember last year, probably not, I went out for a bike ride and uh, I made a video 
and I rode up to a local chateau. And while I was there, there was a row of chestnut trees just further down the lane. And uh, I picked up a chestnut and I thought, I'm gonna grow that. I'm gonna see if I can grow a tree. And that was back in September. So I've saved this little chestnut that I, um, that I found and um, yeah, kind of babied it, you know, made sure I didn't lose it and uh, kept it on the side, excited to plant it. And uh, so the other day you saw me, I was doing some uh, seed sowing and uh, I sowed my, um, my green beans from my uh, first harvest. Uh, well, actually the, the beans that I sowed were from last year's beans, which were from the seeds that I sow, sowed the year before. Anyway, they're grandson beans, if you like. Um, anyway, so yeah, I picked all those out and then I, uh, I sowed those. And I also sowed this chestnut. And uh, I basically put it in a pot of compost and put it in my uh, cold frame. And um, so the other day, yesterday, day before, I noticed there was this chestnut shaped divot in my, uh, in my compost, uh, in the little pot of compost that I put it in. And um, yeah, so uh, I emptied the uh, said pot of compost out and uh, it's empty. <laughs> the chestnut has gone, vanished. I'm guessing a little mouse has run off with it. <laughs> How annoying is that? So uh, I saved this poor chestnut and uh, it's been munched. Uh, so yeah, those um, cold frames, those cold frames in the garden, yeah, I don't think they're gonna do the trick because I've got a feeling said mouse has been going through lots of seeds that I've grown and I'm pretty sure he's had all the melon seeds as well. So uh, I think I'm probably gonna need a greenhouse. I've got an idea for a greenhouse. Uh, no money for a greenhouse, but um, the idea. <laughs> so maybe I need to buy one of those um, uh, bargain polytunnel type greenhouses. So I managed to use my uh, new clothes dryer today. I managed to uh, I managed to set it up, and uh, I think it's going to be okay. A few comments, a few comments regarding that. Yeah, it was once I um, once I'd filmed that and then edited it. I did see the funny side to me um, unpacking that uh, dryer. It was uh, a little bit on the frustrating side, I have to say. Yeah, it nearly uh, it nearly got thrown over the hedge. Um, but I think it'll be okay. I do need to sort out some way of uh, drying my uh, bed sheets. That's the only thing. I will set up a uh, temporary line, I think, for that. I think that will be cheaper than having a, um, a rotary washing line. Um, so yeah, thank you for everyone that commented. It's good to get people involved. And thank you to those of you that have uh, clicked on my uh, coffee.com page. And uh, yeah, really helping me out, I've got to say. Um, no video from me tomorrow, I'm out and about, and uh, yeah, it promises to be a warm couple of days. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. See you later.